I'm Emily Decker and this is Carol from David Mamet's Oleana. Professor, I came here as a favor. At your personal request. Perhaps I should not have done so, but I did. On my behalf and on behalf of my group, and you speak of the Tenure Committee, one of whose members is a woman, as you know, and though you might call it good fun, or an historical phrase, or an oversight, or all of the above, to refer the Committee as good men and true, it is a demeaning remark. It is a sexist remark, and to overlook it is to countenance continuation of that method of thought. You love the power. I'm sorry, you feel yourself empowered. You say so yourself, to strut, to posture, to perform, to call me in here, huh? You say that higher education is a joke and treat it as such. You treat it as such and confess to a taste to play the patriarch in your class, to grant this, to deny that, to embrace your students. And you think it's charming to question in yourself this taste to mock and destroy. But you should question it, professor. You pick those things which you feel advance you. Publication, tenure, and the steps to get them you call harmless rituals. Yet you perform those steps, although you say it's hypocrisy. But to the aspirations of your students, of hard-working students who come here, who slave to come here, you have no idea what it costs me to come to this school. You mock us. You call education hazing. And from your so protected, so elitist seat, you hold our confusion as a joke and hopes and efforts with it. And then you sit there and say, what have I done? And asking me to understand that you have aspirations too? Well, I tell you, I tell you that you are vile, that you are exploitative, and if you possess one ounce of that inner honesty you describe in your book, you can look in yourself and see those things that I see, and find revulsion equal to my own. Good day! Hi, I'm Emily Decker, and this is Lost in the Brass from Band Geeks. So I don't wear makeup, I don't slick my hair up, with some awesome tastic pink barrette. No, I'll never be a majorette. I'm 